presentation of the NBA. Coming to you tonight from the American Airlines Arena with a look high above here in Miami. Welcome, everyone. It's time for NBA action. Coming to you live on this Saturday night. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And here's a look at some numbers for Kyrie Irving. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. $60 million or you've got 1.5 we all get treated the same, and that's what I love about this organization. Kevin? Good story. Hard work does pay off, David. Thank you so much. And tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity leads contempt, and, and that goes for the players, coaches, and fans. So the next starting five, Thomas is out there with Edwards. Then it's Mills, then there's Griffin, and it's Irving in at the point guard. And for Miami. And Robinson on the wing, he's joined by Butler. Adebayo is the pivot with Tucker playing the four. And it's Lowry in at the one. By the Heat, Butler passes to Adebayo. To the middle, like at six. Outside Lowry, beyond the arc. Connects from three-point range. He's got the first bucket of the night, a three-pointer for the Heat. Here's Irving. Top of the key, Griffin. Right side, Thomas. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Heat. It's a three-point game. Count the basket. Boy, a fine passer at his position. Well, their pass is to Tucker. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Using that strong upper body, Tucker can definitely play through contact. And really, hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. Boy, just a lovely dish by Griffin. Lowry against Irving. Here's Butler outside for Robinson. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. It's in their last game. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They found their rhythm and kept piling it on. And a huge boost of confidence on the road for sure. On the clock, here's Martin. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. That's leading by five. Johnson finds Curry. Pass to Drummond. Oh, and the jam by Drummond. Boy, look at the big guy getting tricky. Drummond doesn't waste a chance to get creative at the rim. That's pretty impressive for a big guy. And the first time out of the game, Cole. You know, Greg, when you think about Jimmy Butler, it sure seems like he was born to wear a Miami Heat jersey, as he says. I'm so fortunate to be able to, to work with and for an organization like this one. And then, man, I got some incredible teammates, like for real, for real. Some really good ones that love coming into work every day and busting their tail knowing that good things are going to come from it. Down low, here's Irving. It's deflected. Robinson with it. He's coming off a 34 point game against New Orleans. Vincent, the pass to Devin. Here's Struce. The three. Trains the three pointer. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, Defense did not look very good there. And here is Thomas in the corner. It's Griffin. 
nobody near Irving. That drops, and it comes off in his hand. Outside Irving. Going inside. Here's Edwards. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his third assist on the night. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. It's hauled in by Edwards. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Dishes it to Irving. Gets to Johnson. Mills looking it over. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And they're getting their eight. And here are the Heat now, following the bucket by the Nets. Butler passes to Struce over Edwards, and it's Struce missing. That's one he knows he should have drained. In the corner, Irving with it. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist total, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Brooklyn leading by 23. Here's Brown. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. And so it's Brooklyn rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what was your plan for tonight? I was trying to get assists at the beginning, and I'm uh, just having a good time out here. Got it going a little bit. Enjoying myself. Okay, Kyrie, we'll see you in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. They stayed within arm's reach in that opening period. Five points, their largest deficit. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we can only beat ourselves. Halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Outside for Robinson. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Second chance points kill you. It's a strength of Adebayo picking up the garbage and putting it in. Now here's Irving. He's got 16. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. The pass to Adebayo. Right side, Butler. He dishes it to Lowry. Adebayo against Irving. Basket good. Eight points for Bam out of the guy is a hard worker. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense, they need stops, and then you got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Here's Thomas. The Heat getting the bucket over Butler. And again, no good by Brooklyn. 
And Coach Spolster says that Adebayo continues to put in the work to improve. And Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Comes back each fall with a new wrinkle. Right. Shot clock at six. Trying to find Curry. He's got it now. Brown wide open. He fires. And Drummond kicks to Brown. Carter outside. Shoots over Hero. Rebound by the Heat. There's the triple. Hangs home the trifecta. Hero's got eight. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Throws it up high, and then Johnson with the dunk. High basketball IQ on display. Now, Hero, eight points for him. Outside for Lowry. Now the pass to Martin. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Here's Butler. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Boy, the energetic, active play from Butler on offense so far has been terrific. Uh, he really loves stepping up for his team. Now here is Carter. Johnson outside. Driving in. Miami grabs the miss. Gedman's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Butler. And slam dunk by Butler. Hey. They're ahead. 16 points. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. Right back after this break. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? Yeah, and as a two-guard, he's typically not... Struce. It's Martin on the wing. Driving the lane. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Griffin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And on the way from Irving for three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Griffin's got five assists tonight. Pass to Griffin. Tries a three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Martin's got six rebounds in the game. And terrific to see Adebayo putting up big numbers. He's continuing to grow as a scorer. Now here's Mills. Passes to Irving. Here he goes. It's good. Irving's got 24. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Here's Struce. The offensive rebound. Adebayo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Adebayo's got six. Outside Irving. Out to the right wing. And here's Mills from the arc. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got six assists in the game. Miami's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Martin kicks to Hero. That shot missing. Good D by Irving. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that has... Now here's Mills. Outside Irving. Sweet little floater. Irving's got 28 points for the game. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Lowry passes to Tucker. 
That ball's nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Yeah, you got to do a lot more than that against Tucker, fellas. He's too big, too strong at times for the defense. Irving with the ball. Lowry picks him up. There's Thomas with the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And Kevin, it, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. They had not been playing very good basketball coming into this game, and that's when a team needs its star players to step up and stop the bleeding, just like he did tonight. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah uh, man, well the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you, David. Thank you as always, Anthony Clark Kellogg and David Alder. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.